Battle through the heavens. The voice that had suddenly sounded by the side of his ear caused Lin Yen to be startled. The thoughts in his mind became dull for a moment before his eyes suddenly widened. He suddenly turned around. Both of his eyes revealed a wild joy and surprise when he saw that familiar face. Shu, don't say anything. Xiao Yan merely smiled and whispered when he saw Lin Yan's stunned expression. Lin Yan immediately reacted upon hearing this familiar voice again. An excitement that was difficult to describe swiftly surged into his eyes. He parted his mouth and nodded. Using a voice that only the two of them could hear, he said, Good fellow, why have you come to the Central Plains? Xiao Yan grinned in the face of Lin Yan's excited expression. After which, he waved his hand, indicating that this was not the place to chat. Quite a number of Wind Lightning Pavilion's expert guards around the arena immediately rushed over when they what Xiao Yan did. A furious sound was emitted from the arena, Who are you? Why have you interrupted the competition? The sudden unexpected change had similarly exceeded Wang Chen's expectations. When he had recovered, his dark, cold eyes were immediately locked onto Xiao Yan. The black-colored daggers in his hand gently rubbed against each other, emitting a creaking sound that caused one's heart to feel cold. According to the rules of the Grand Meeting, one cannot continue to attack anyone who admits defeat. However, this person ignored the rules earlier. Instead of going after him, why is everyone questioning me? Xiao Yan released the hand grabbing Lin Yan's shoulder. After which, he raised his head and glanced at the dozen-plus experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion as he spoke in a faint voice. Xiao Yan did not wish to expose his identity here. Hence, he had suppressed his voice on purpose, causing it to appear a little hoarse. Although they thought in this manner, they would naturally not dare to speak like this in public. After all, Wang Chen was the unreasonable one in this manner. Xiao Yan's rescue might be somewhat against the rules, but it was within reason. He is but trash who relied on luck to reach this point. It's fine if I kill him. What's so great about that? The experts from the Wing Lightning Pavilion might not dare to say it, but Wang Chen could act this fearlessly. He immediately let out a cold laugh. There was disdain within his evil voice. You as asterisk 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 asterisk. A furious flame surged into the eyes of the fiery-tempered Lin Yen when he heard this. He had just taken a step forward when he was grabbed by Xiao Yen. It looks like the people from the Yellow Spring Pavilion only have such quality. The reason you are able to last until now is because you are relying on the reputation of the Yellow Spring Pavilion. There is nothing worthwhile to be arrogant about. Xiao Yan held Lin Yan as his eyes looked at Wang Chen and coldly laughed. He had similarly found this person to be quite an eyesore. The expression in Wang Chen's eyes had turned as chilly as a poisonous snake when he heard this. A ferocious look vaguely appeared on his face. The gazes of the other competitors around the arena looked over. Their eyebrows were knit when their eyes swept over Xiao Yan. Immediately, they shook their heads and muttered, Reckless fellow. It is not up to you as a younger generation to discuss what the Yellow Spring Pavilion is like. Whose disciple are you? Tell this old me. By being able to teach such an arrogant disciple, it is likely that your teacher should also possess some ability, no? Xiao Yan's cold laugh had just sounded when Huang Quan Zunzhe from the seats in the middle of the stadium raised his eyebrows and glanced at Xiao Yan. His faint voice contained a dense, cold feeling. This kind of feeling of having his sight blocked caused Huang Quan Zunzhe to be stunned. He had the strength of a Do Zun, yet he was unable to see through the strength of a member of the younger generation. While Huang Quan Zunzhe was feeling stunned by this, Lei Zunzhe, Feng Zunzhe, and Jian Zunzhe also shared this same feeling. All of them felt somewhat surprised in their hearts. 
Quite a number of people felt admiration when they saw that Xiao Yan did not panic even a little when facing four elite Dozuns. This mentality was not something that an ordinary person possessed. After all, every single elite Dozun was a giant. It was not overboard to say that they could summon clouds with a flip of their hand and call the rain by turning it. One could not see any emotion on Lei Zunja's face as his finger gently tapped his armrest. He smiled faintly. His eyes swung to Feng Zunja and Jian Zunja beside him as he asked, Kuku, how do the two of you think we should deal with this matter? This old fellow was really cunning. He knew that it was easy to offend others like this. Wang Chen was in the wrong. If he favored him too much, everyone would think that the Wind Lightning Pavilion was unfair, damaging its reputation in the process. If he did not do anything, it was likely to offend Huang Quan Zunja. Hence, he had thrown this hot potato to Feng Zunja and Jian Zunja. Let's do it according to the rules. Anyone who commits an offense in the competition must suffer a heavy punishment. However, on account of this being the first offense of this person, let him suffer fifty strikes of the thunder rod and expel him from Lightning Mountain. Huang Quan Zunzhe spoke in an indifferent tone. That tone of his appeared to be discussing an insignificant manner. Of course, given his strength, he did indeed possess the qualification to say these words. He is not the one in the wrong. Are you trying to cause Lei Zunja to end up being called unfair by randomly punishing this person? Feng Zunja laughed and glanced at Huang Quan Zunja as he replied. Kuku, Feng Zunja is right. Although this person has interrupted the competition, he had a reason for doing so. Moreover, the actions of Wang Chen clearly show that he does not have any regards for the rules. It will really be difficult to explain things if the other person was punished. Why don't we do this? Let's all take a step back and allow this person to leave with his friend. The grand meeting will continue. What do you say? Jian Zunja rubbed his beard as he laughed. Lei Zunja was startled. Immediately, he shook his head helplessly in his heart. These two old fellows were clearly intending on getting Huang Quan Zunja to lose face. However, what they had said was also reasonable. His wind lightning pavilion was not the yellow spring pavilion. Its style of doing things was also completely different. All Lei Zunja could do at that moment was smile apologetically to Huang Quan Zunja. Huang Quan Zunja's words immediately stirred an uproar in the stadium. Xiao Yan also frowned. It seemed that this old fellow did not possess the magnanimity that an elite Dozun ought to have. Don't care about this old fellow who won't die. Let's leave. Lin Yan's expression slightly changed. He pulled Xiao Yan with the intention to leave. It was unexpected that this old fellow would say such words. He understood Wang Chen's strength very well. It was likely that only Feng Qin Air and a couple of others present could fight with him. If you do not dare to fight, you should count out three times to teach her. This matter will end if you do so. Otherwise, you will not be able to leave. Wang Chen's bright red tongue gently licked his sharp dagger as he ferociously laughed at Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's dark black eyes stared intently at Wang Chen. The hands under his sleeves were tightly clenched. Should he fight or should he not fight? Xiao Yan finally sighed slowly in front of everyone a moment later. Xiao Yan, don't be reckless. Lin Yan hurriedly said. His expression changed when he saw Xiao Yan's actions. Xiao Yan turned his head and smiled. After which, he freed himself from Lin Yan's grip as he softly said, Relax, a person who has come from the inner academy will not be weaker than some random person from the Yellow Spring Pavilion. Xiao Yan slowly took a step forward after saying those words. His eyes looked at Wang Chen, and a simple word caused the hot blood of the countless number of people present to boil. Come. 
the entire stadium let out a cheer when they saw Xiao Yan take a step forward. Regardless of whether he was Wang Chen's match, just the boldness of stepping forward and facing his challenge head-on caused many people to let out quiet praises. Lei Zunzhe, what do you say to me occupying a little of the competition's time? Huang Quan Zunzhe looked at Lei Zunzhe as he faintly laughed. Lei Zunzhe smiled when he heard this, but did not reject him. Although Xiao Yan seemed a little strange, he was clearly far inferior to Huang Quan Zunzhe in his heart. It was only natural that Lei Zunzhe had to give him some time and face. Hopefully it will not drag out for too long. Huang Quan Zunzhe smiled. His gaze turned to Wang Chen in the arena as he faintly said, This matter was caused by you, so you should resolve this matter. You should know of the consequences if you fail to resolve it. Wang Chen's hands, which were holding the dark black daggers, trembled slightly upon hearing the words of Huang Quan Zunzhe. He bowed his body slightly to him as a savage smile surged onto his face, Teacher, please rest assured that this disciple shall let this person, who has humiliated our Yellow Spring Pavilion, pay the price. Huang Quan Zunzhe slowly leaned against the backrest and gently nodded. The competitors present automatically withdrew to the side when they heard Lei Zunzhe's words. Their eyes immediately stared at Xiao Yan in the arena. This fellow dared to accept Wang Chen's challenge. They did not know whether he was crazy or if he possessed some confidence. Feng Qingye's eyebrows were vertical as she studied Xiao Yan's figure. Her hands parted a thread of black hair in front of her forehead as doubt flashed across her pretty eyes. Lin Yan anxiously rubbed his hands together as he watched Xiao Yan, who was slowly walking into the arena. His heart felt a little regretful. He could vaguely sense that Xiao Yan's aura was far stronger than him. However, Wang Chen was someone at the peak of the Dou Huang class. Moreover, it was rumored that this fellow had a strength that could fight against an elite Dou Zong. The thing that caused him to be most worried about was that Wang Chen was a vicious person. Each time he fought with someone, the other party would definitely be crippled even if he did not die. Xiao Yan would likely be in a dangerous position when fighting with him. Damn it, if this fellow dares to hurt Xiao Yan, the old me will not let him off easily even if I have to risk this life of mine. Lin Yan viciously clenched his teeth. A fierce glint also flashed across his eyes. He was a person who greatly valued friendship, and he had a deep relationship with Xiao Yan. If anything were to happen to him, he would definitely not just sit idly by the side. Visit N0, V, L slash B, I, N, dot for the best novel reading experience. Wan Chen looked at Xiao Yan, who was slowly walking over, with a pair of dark eyes. Xiao Yan finally stopped not far in front of him. The daggers in Wang Chen's hands were swiftly rotated before he clenched their hilts. The daggers obediently paused in his hands. If you admit defeat now and count out three times, I can allow you to get lost from Lightning Mountain. Wang Chen glanced at Xiao Yan and laughed in a dense voice. The sinister smile on Wang Chen's face involuntarily became denser when he saw that Xiao Yan had ignored his words. The killing intent within his eyes swiftly rose. Brat, I will let you regret offending the Yellow Spring Pavilion. The sinister voice had just sounded when Wang Chen's body trembled. He transformed into a black rainbow. Within a breath's time, he had appeared behind Xiao Yan's back. The daggers in his hands moved in a lightning-like manner. They pierced I two fatal spots, the neck and the back of his heart. Clang! Clang! Wang Chen might be fast, but the daggers had yet to land on Xiao Yan's body when the Jade Green Energy Ruler emitted a shua sound. It appeared behind his back. After which, he easily blocked the dagger attack. Bang! Bang! The large energy python had just charged out when a fist made of wind, carrying a deep sonic boom, landed on them, shattering them in the process. 
After shattering the large energy pythons, the energy ruler in Xiao Yan's hand emitted a shua sound. It carried a sonic boom as it was violently fanned. The powerful wind forced Wang Chen back. You are only a so so. Xiao Yan's face revealed a smile as he supported the heavy ruler on his shoulders. However, his calm voice only caused Wang Chen's eyes to become fiercer. It is only a warm-up. There is no need to speak so arrogantly. At this moment, just the aura of Wang Chen could already be considered a quasi-elite dozong. Although there was still an enormous gap to a genuine elite dozong, it was ultimately much stronger than some experts at the peak of the Dou Huang class. The faces of Feng Qin Air, Mu Qin Luan, and Tang Ying in the arena did not reveal any surprise. All of them had soaked in the Heaven Mountain blood pool. And knew that they had gained a great deal of benefits from it. It was within expectations that this Wang Chen had also taken half a step into the Dozong class. Quasi Dozong Ha. Huh? Xiao Yan muttered. He narrowed his eyes as his gaze looked at the powerful Dou Qi that lingered around Wang Chen like a whirlwind. When he had exchanged blows with this person in the Heaven Eye Mountain range, he had clearly been at the peak of the Dou Huang class. It was likely that the help of the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool had allowed him to gain such a breakthrough. The current you has already lost your final chance to show regret. Wang Chen's face was covered with a ferocity. It appeared to be faintly distorted, causing it to appear extremely terrifying. Xiao Yan frowned. This person was indeed somewhat troublesome to deal with. If this continued, there was no telling just how long he would be entangled. Moreover, someone might see through something during this period of time. Hence, it was best that he ended this battle as soon as possible. Bone Corroding Round Dagger Dance Wang Chen's speed was also much faster compared to before. In a flash, he appeared in front of Xiao Yen. The two daggers in his hands transformed into countless number of black glows that even caused numerous scars to appear in the air. The angle of the dagger's dance was extremely strange. They had basically permeated all around Xiao Yen. Those black glows even contained waves of chillness that drilled into his heart. Xiao Yan's eyes coagulated. This Wang Chen was definitely using a kind of high-class Dou skill. Moreover, it was likely that its level was quite high, this Yellow Spring Pavilion really lived up to its reputation of being one of the four pavilions that coexisted. Six Joint Body Flowing Ruler The heavy ruler in Xiao Yan's hand also moved as his heart desired at this moment, swiftly forming numerous ruler shadows. It formed a dense ruler web that completely wrapped around Xiao Yan's body. Clang 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 clang. Exclamations were immediately emitted from all around as everyone watched the dazzling exchange in the battleground. No one expected that Xiao Yan would be able to fight evenly with Wang Chen when he had unleashed his Dou Qi to its peak. At this moment, anyone, regardless of how foolish they were, could tell that Xiao Yan's choice of agreeing to the fight was not some reckless act. Instead, he truly possessed the ability and qualification to fight with the other party. In the VIP seats, the smile on Huang Quan Zunzhe's face was reduced. In the end, it had completely transformed into a gloomy expression. From his senses, Xiao Yan's strength was continuously climbing. Within a short breath's time, it had approached Wang Chen. Moreover, it was still climbing. A slight arc involuntarily curled on the faces of Feng Zunzhe and Jian Zunzhe when they thought of this. While these two were gloating, unexpected changes continued to appear in the arena. One could see the ruler shadows, that had been wrapping around Xiao Yan's body, suddenly disappearing. A powerful aura that was far stronger than that of Wang Chen immediately appeared just like a mountain peak that rose from the plains, surging to the sky as it did so. The majestic Dou Qi easily broke through the blade web formed by Wang Chen's dagger. With a flash of the ruler, 
an unusual flame swiftly gathered at the tip of the ruler. Six-joint body flowing ruler, six-joint fire. The six-joint body flowing ruler was divided into three levels, splitting fire, body flowing fire, and six-joint fire. The difference in the strength of these three levels was also extremely great. However, Xiao Yan had seldom used the six-joint body flowing ruler's attacking technique ever since practicing this skill because the thing that he valued the most was the defensive ability of the six-joint body flowing ruler. Of course, this did not mean that the six-joint body flowing ruler did not possess any other good points. For it to be able to reach the D-class middle level, the offensive strength of the six-joint body ruler would naturally be even more powerful than the flame-splitting tsunami if it was used well. This was one of the various benefits that advancing to the Dozong class had brought about. Dozong and Do Huang were two completely different levels. Unless someone at the peak of the Do Huang class possessed some truly strong trump cards, when attempting to leap across classes to challenge an elite Dozong, one's ending would definitely be extremely miserable. After all, the gap between the two was too great. A strange flame that appeared greenish-brown gently adhered to the surface of the ruler. This flame was not a real flame. Instead, it was a strange flame that had appeared and the dou qi within Xiao Yan's body was compressed to a point that was difficult to imagine. Of course, this could not be strictly considered a flame. At the very most, it could be considered an alternative of compressed Dou Qi. It was fortunate that he had already reached the Dou Zong class. Otherwise, with his previous strength of a Dou Huang, it would definitely be impossible for him to compress Dou Qi to such an extent. The greenish-brown flame adhered to the tip of the ruler, appearing as though it would scatter with one blow. However, it was this inconspicuous flame that tore a finger-wide black line in the air like an incomparably sharp blade when it was swung with the ruler's wind. There was no sonic boom or other unusual phenomenon when the ruler was swung out. Only a kind of dead silence like that prior to the eruption of a volcano. However, it was this gentle swing of the ruler that caused the expressions of everyone present, who possessed some knowledge, to change. Tang Ying, Mu Qing Luan, and even Feng Qing Air revealed a solemnness in their eyes. Disbelief and shock filled their eyes as they looked at Xiao Yan. This fellow, is actually an elite Dozong. Although Xiao Yan had changed his appearance slightly, he still appeared quite young. Hence, when Tang Ying and the others saw that the aura spreading out from his body had actually reached the Dozong class, a great storm had appeared in his heart. It did not calm down even after a long time. This person. Feng Qing air eyebrows were knit. Her pretty eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan. When his aura had completely erupted earlier, the strange familiar feeling that she had sensed earlier had become much denser. She was clearly aware that this kind of unknown feeling would not randomly appear. Moreover, her perception was also much stronger than an ordinary person. Wang Chen was a quasi dozong. Just what level was Xiao Yan, who had exceeded him, at? There were only two words that answered that question, dozong. By having lost the quasi word in front, the gap between them was just like the heaven and earth. This fellow has actually reached the dozong class. Lin Yan at the edge of the arena was also staring at Xiao Yan's back with a stunned look. When he had left the Jiao Ma Empire back then, he clearly remembered that Xiao Yan was merely at the peak of the Dou Wang class. Now, however, he had actually leaped to a Dou Zong existence after only a few short years. Was this kind of training speed not a little too frightening? It should be known that he had already reached the level of a four star Dou Huang yet his strength had only soared so much because he had accidentally obtained an inheritance from an ancestor. However, the speed he was proud of seemed unworthy of even being mentioned compared with Xiao Yan. At this moment, he had finally understood why Xiao Yan dared to publicly accept Wang Chen's challenge. With his current strength, how many among the younger generation were his match? 
Even Wang Chen was only at the quasi do zone level despite possessing the support of a great being like the Yellow Spring Pavilion. The expression of Huang Quan Zunzhe in the VIP seats had become unusually dark and cold at this moment. His gaze sinisterly stared at Xiao Yan. He had actually been mistaken this time around. Looks like this person is not simple. Wang Chen is no match for him. Jian Zunzhe fondled his beard as he slowly spoke. Huang Quan Zunzhe's eyes turned cold when he heard Jian Zunzhe's words. He replied in a chilly, dark voice, It is not over yet. Randomly guessing the outcome will only embarrass yourself. The corner of Jian Zunzhe's mouth was curled. His eyes looked at the arena and coldly laughed, I want to see just who will ultimately be embarrassed. During the tit-for-tat exchange between the two, the situation within the arena had become unusually dangerous in a split second. The ferocity on Wang Chen's face had become a lot stiffer in the face of Xiao Yan's silent ruler attack. A dense feeling of danger vaguely spread from deep within his heart, climbing to every corner of his body as it did. How is this possible? How can this brat be a dozong? Wang Chen grit his teeth. He inhaled a deep breath of air as his eyes swiftly turned crimson. A craziness surged out of his heart. He clearly knew just what kind of punishment would await him once he returned should he be defeated in Xiao Yan's hands. Yellow Spring Blood Skill Under Wang Chen's crazy roar, his aura rose wildly like a fire arrow within an instant. Following the increase in strength of his aura, both of his eyes turned dark black in color. Dark black energy surged out of his body in all directions, spread out. Looking from a distance, he appeared just like a ferocious ancient beast, emitting a savage fierceness. Tang Ying's group involuntarily inhaled a breath of cold air when they saw Wang Chen's appearance. This fellow has even used the yellow spring blood skill, what a lunatic. The dark black energy swiftly agglomerated as a dense corpse stench spread from Wang Chen's right hand. Immediately, his entire arm turned as black as ink. Yellow Spring Rotten Corpse Arm The dark black arm suddenly shot out with a low roar. A crack was formed in the air when the black arm struck out. The tough silverwood arena seemed to have met its nemesis as it swiftly lost its luster. Immediately, it was just like withered wood, turning yellowish and rotten. It is the yellow spring rotten corpse arm. That is the extremely powerful doe skill of the yellow spring pavilion. Numerous astonished cries immediately sounded outside of the arena when everyone saw Wang Chen's black arm. Clearly, this doe skill was quite well known. The exclamations outside of the arena had just sounded when the falling ruler figure finally carried a wisp of greenish-brown flames abruptly fell. After which, it suddenly collided with a black arm. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth was lifted into an icy arc the moment the collision occurred. A wisp of glazed lotus core flame was quietly channeled through the body of the ruler before finally being shot out. Bang! Silver-colored wooden fragments shot out at great speed like a storm. A silver light flickered when the sunlight shot over, causing it to appear extremely beautiful. Chi! The tornado that had just been formed from the silver-colored wood fragments when a figure suddenly shot away from it. It immediately smashed heavily into the arena. After which, it tore and formed a large gully in the arena, one that over nearly a hundred meters long. The entire stadium was completely silent. Countless numbers of gazes were dull as they looked at the dark black figure inserted in the silver wood. Grug. This is. Wang Chen's eyes immediately shrank when he sensed this wisp of jade green flame. The storm that was created from the silver wood slowly disappeared. Xiao Yan's figure slowly surfaced within it. His dense eyes glanced at Wang Chen who still had a breath remaining. After which, he raised his head and looked at Huang Quan Zunzhe, who had a frighteningly gloomy expression. Good, good, brat, you have really surprised this venerable self, Zunzhe. 
Huang Quan Zunzhe slowly stood up. His voice revealed killing intent and fury, that he was trying his best to suppress. Xiao Yan's eyes slightly narrowed. He cupped his hands to Huang Quan Zunzhe and said, I have already fulfilled the agreement. Goodbye. Xiao Yan turned around and walked to the edge of the stadium after saying these words. Asterisk cough, asterisk wait. Just when Xiao Yan had turned around and taken over a dozen steps, a coughing voice that contained a dense laugh was transmitted over. Xiao Yan paused his footsteps and turned his head. His eyes were chilly as he looked at Wang Chen, who was climbing up from the ground with much difficulty. Xiao Yan's voice was ice cold as he said, Do you still wish to continue? Asterisk cough asterisk, Wang Chen spat out a mouthful of blood. The savage smile on his face appeared exceptionally frightening when mixed with the fresh blood. I really did not expect that you would have advanced to the Do Zone class within three short months. Looks like you gained the most from the Heaven Mountain blood pool, don't you agree, Xiao Yan?